G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So just a quick one, a look at NEO and its valuation and how you should not just be buying NEO because you think it's going to go like Tesla, some crazy multiple. Even though it could, who knows, it could transform. Over time, companies transform. Apple was never the great company it was today, bit by bit. Same with Tesla. Um, so who knows, it could transform, but just be wary of buying. The whole market is high. So just look at Neo delivered 43,000 vehicles for all 2020. Toyota actually download this. You can download this from somewhere on Toyota's site. Uh, 8 million cars. 8 million cars. 10 million the year before, so it's dropped down a bit. Um, yeah, so your Toyota market cap. USD. Sorry, one sec, let me find this. That's not USD, that's Tokyo. I think it's around $200 billion. So just take words, $200 billion. You can buy the whole Toyota, or you can buy Neo, who only made 43,000 cars. But I get it, you're investing in the future. Toyota also are making hydrogen cars, which I think are a bit silly. I think hydrogen boats, hydrogen long haul trucks, probably a good thing, but maybe not so much hydrogen passenger vehicles. But who knows what the future holds. If the whole world wanted to go hydrogen, eventually hydrogen would be too good to get replaced by the others because all the infrastructure, everything would be set up around hydrogen. But it looks like EVs are the way, direct EVs, but don't worry, Toyota is going to come out with the EV. They're just waiting for the prices to drop for batteries, stuff like that. So they're waiting till 2025, as early as 2025. Though right now he sees them. This is the CEO, I believe. Expensive and lacking charging infrastructure despite public appetite. This is for Australia. Apologize to anyone in America. Ultimately, electric vehicles will become to Australia, and Toyota will be certainly be part of bringing electric vehicles to Australia in the future. It's just a matter of when. I don't have a particular date today to announce, but you know it's fair to say between 2025 and 2030. I think we've all seen electric vehicles. I think we'll have an electric vehicles in the Toyota lineup in Australia. I don't think it's people readiness. I think it gets down to the infrastructure, and also gets down to affordability. That's really critical here. So in Australia, an EV is quite expensive compared to anything else that's good. We like utes in Australia. Well, I do. And yeah, they're probably better on uh, maintenance. But my ute, I've drove around for ages, doesn't need much maintenance either. The crankshaft, yeah, probably put the um, the motors in the wheels. That will save you a bit. But anyway, more news from Neo on mass market vehicles. So where is this one? And also, you could buy like Neo is going to have the whole package lidar and everything like that. But if we come to Comma AI, if you look at some Comma AI versus Tesla self-driving videos, uh, the current you can get this for nine hundred ninety nine. I think Tesla's ten thousand. Obviously, it's all compatible, looks better and stuff. And you have to wire this in. But if you want the basic stuff, it's a lot cheaper to go this way. So yeah, you could get a bank loan and pretend like it doesn't exist, pay it back, and buy something expensive, yes. So anyway, Neo may this is about Neo and launching a mass market vehicle. So they don't plan to under the Neo name. So Neo will be like Lexus and Toyota. Lexus is the high class Toyota and Toyota is just the still good but Lexus is like the fancy Toyota. So Neo says it'll have a mass market vehicle but it won't be a Neo. It'll be something called like a Splio or Blio. Some other one that's the cheap version. So you know the companies have the good version and then they have the cheap one. Another example Audi and Volkswagen. 
Addy's like the classy one. Although Volkswagens are great. And anyway, so Neo is going to be the expensive one. But they will have a mouse mark in the future. They're also like Toyota, waiting for battery, cost to come down, and tech. And then they'll get into the mass market vehicle. But so will everyone else. So Neo, it's got everything. It's got Neo's pretty much getting the best parts from everywhere else. They've got the Nvidia chips in there, the lidar. I can't remember where that came from, but Mobile Eye is doing the driving tech. Mobile Eye has more. Mobile Eye is owned by Intel and has a lot more driving miles than Tesla. So, just be wary that Neo around hundred billion dollars now, and for the hundred billion dollars, I'll try and find out the revenue. Neo revenue. 2020, they sold 43,000 cars. So, um, hmm. Third quarter. So times that by four. Four six is 24 roughly. So let's just say 22.4 billion dollars, and you're paying 100 billion dollars for that. That's revenue, and I'm pretty sure they weren't profitable. Of course, they're getting there, and they could be the next big thing. But for now. It's a big risk, so don't go putting all your money to Neo. Think it's going to be like Tesla because they don't. They don't have a mass market vehicle. Tesla's leading the way. Tesla's probably going to be the first there, and Tesla's way too expensive as well. So I'm going to sit in the sidelines. Everything has gone high. Everything is high. I'm going to look at the ASX 200. Oh, doesn't actually look that high, does it? Hmm, that's a 200, maybe the 500. But remember hit, that we aren't doing as much things as we were. Oh, maybe I'll just look at the NASDAQ. Well, that's the tech one, so it should be up more. Oh, it's freaking high, isn't it? Freaking high. Oh my god, it's gonna crash. But look, all these years, probably came back up to here. Like, it's freaking high, and it was freaking high, it crashed. And now look at it. Woo! Fucking Nasdaq's going crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the last time you had a point like that, it crashed. So I wouldn't be buying at all here. I'd be sitting and waiting. I probably wouldn't be selling unless you think the stocks are high. But I thought about selling. Oh, I thought, oh, I've gone up now. I should have sold out when I had a little dip. But then it keeps going up and up. And I'm at an all time high again today in my accounts all my American stocks so invest in something that's going to be the future obviously neural tech EVs futuristic things stay away from things that are dying such as retail shopping centers although I did buy one and I still think some retail is good like when you buy new food oh it's gone down today but I bought this at $1.30 or something because the stores are worth they sold all their stores today. I'm not sure who's going to buy them. Maybe Amazon will buy them. It was for two dollars, so they're quite cheap, and they're going to have a good dividend once things get back in swing. Ten percent won't be that high. They're not actually paying our dividend at the moment. But the thing is, look at what you own. How valuable it is. Where is it going in the future? Probably don't sell it, but be careful about buying things in this high market. And that's all for this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll bring better content. If you're going to like and subscribe, I'm going to bring better content than these screenshot recordings. So, I'll see you in the next video.